Namaste and welcome to React Bits. Cvault is an awesome JavaScript framework or a compiler that allows us to develop dynamic applications. And Tailwind CSS is an utility first awesome CSS framework that's being very popular lately. So in this episode, we are going to make Cvault and Tailwind work together to create awesome starter project that we can use to create lots of front end projects and lots of applications. So let's begin. First, let us create Cvault project using this command that is provided in their website. So let me move to the terminal npx. So let me name it Cvault Tailwind app. So we are using this digit command and we are using Cvault default template to create our new project. This will clone that GitHub repository. Okay. We can now cd into Tailwind app and let me open it in Visual Studio Code. Now we can see that our package.json has some scripts and if I run now, let me run it. Let's run or you can run npm install as well. Once the installation is complete, we can see the demo using an dev or npm run dev. Usually it starts in the port 5000, but my port 5000 is taken. So it starts in a random port. Now we can see that our hello world is running. Next, we'll move on to set up Tailwind. First, we need to add some dependencies. So let us add the dependencies here yarn add dev so if you remember or if you have seen my Cvault fundamentals tutorial before this you remember that Cvault has everything in dev dependencies because it's a compiler not an actual framework so we have all as dev dependencies so let us add our dependencies we need for CSS, npm run all, for CSS CLI, Kelvin CSS, auto prefixer, and post CSS. We add these dependencies, then next we will run Tailwind init to create Tailwind configuration file. This is done. So let us run npx Kelvin CSS in it. Okay. Now we have tailwind.config.js and right now dark mode is set to false. Let us set to class so that we can manually provide our users with function to switch to dark mode and light mode. We will see that in a bit. Okay, now that we have configurations, I think we need post CSS. We need to create post CSS config as well. So let us create post css.config.js here. Config.js and here let's add Tailwind CSS, then let's parse so we just want to parse all those CSS that are not required this will keep our files CSS clean and content so we'll use 
Darth star C asterisk 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 dot S V L T C vault and also dot slash public slash asterisk asterisk dot S V M L default extractor content match slash a z a z zero nine dash on this colon slash okay now exports plugins okay, we add Kelvin details here Kelvin CSS and the configuration file is dot slash Kelvin dot config dot JS and then if env dot node equals production if it equals production then we for for css otherwise we don't okay in production we want to purge extra css okay so we have our post css config we have our tailwind config next we update our scripts file scripts in package.json so that we can run the project smoothly build tailwind files also we need to create tailwind css so inside public folder inside public folder let us create tailwind.css here we will import tailwind tailwind base components and finally tailwind utilities okay we have this now we need to create scripts so let's create some scripts here first watch watch tailwind so this will post css so this is the tailwind.css file we just created and as o output will be public slash index.css dash w that means we are watching next build tailwind so here we give node env production post css and again we can copy this except watch so here now we have two let's update the build so this should be yarn you can use npm as well build tailwind and and rollups that c rollup dash c is for cvault okay and again let's update the dev script let's create one more that is start dev okay start dev should be serve public dev okay and start should be as it is 
depth should be run parallel start dev auto bear tailwind also we need to create auto build that will be roll up dash c dash w okay now if we want to run the dev let's change this let's stop this clear and let's run yarn dot sorry yarn dev okay start dev auto build no license field no one run not found okay run this is space there should not be space okay so parallelly it's running let me click here we see again the same hello world page okay now let us update in our index dot we also have now index.css that comes from that is built from this tailwind.css let me remove this global.css delete okay once we delete this okay see the there are changes the font is changed it looks different so now in index.html instead of global.css let's add index.css so now if we refresh now again we have the tailwind here now let us update our code app.c vault with some tailwind classes let's remove all of these okay let me save and here main let's see the changes see everything is changed now let's use tailwind here in so m2 so we have margin 2 let's add 4 margin all sides container mx auto next in h1 class to excel so text size is increased Font bold so it's bold and let's say text center so it's centralized or we can add text center to the top so that we'll not have to add it everywhere we have text center now let's give this let's add a header 500 okay and let's place this inside header okay we have this m5 sorry let's add p5 so that we have some padding and rounded md we have rounded corners great and text white so it's white and let's say here text black over text white so once i hover it will be white nice so we can see it in action and finally let's make dark mode work so here i can add something like dark bz gray or on let's say 700 and if i add main here in main if i add the class dark then the color should change okay and here this is text white dark text pink 500 so in dark it's different now 
dark hover text white so in dark hover again text goes to white now we are simply assigning dark if we remove this it goes back to normal if we add this again dark mode is enabled so let us create a checkbox where we can enable dark mode so here let equals true here let's make if dark mode then dark otherwise we do not want any class and let's create a checkbox bind checked dark mode let me check the issue os is not defined where is os here by mistake i imported this type so it was causing the problem and let me enable this so we have now checkbox if we remove it we can switch between dark mode and light mode so this is the new tailwind 2.0 feature so in tailwind 2.0 we now have dark mode and we can use this dark modifier to provide different settings for dark mode for example this hello world title i can say dark mode in dark mode text pink 500 so in dark mode this will be pink in light mode or default mode it this will be white and we can adjust various different settings based on this for details regarding tailwind classes please visit tailwindcss.com and for details regarding working with Cvault head over to cvault.dev so this is how we can set up cvault and tailwind to work together and create awesome front-end projects however if you don't want to go through all of this hassle each time to create a new project you can use my cvault tailwind starter project you can find it in cvault tailwind starter i'll provide the link in the description below to use this starter it's similar to instantiate new cvault project using dz instead of the default cvault js template we just use my template as a starter and you can run npm run dev or an dev in order to start the project let's see this in action so let me close this let me create sub project inside this folder just for demonstration so cvault tailwind starter cvault tailwind test so let's create this and once this is done cd into tailwind test yarn or npm install and once that is done we can use yarn dev and we can see the output so again we have similar with cvault and tailwind we can switch between dark mode and light mode you can find the starter repository here as well if you want to set up yourself a tailwind and cvault starter you know how to do that by using this tutorial as well as you know how to create new project by using my template so that you do not have to do all those hassles i'll provide the code for this tutorial in the github repository as well or you can also check out the cvault 
Tailwind starter template that I have in the GitHub. Both the links are provided in the description. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. See you again in the next episode.